hello friends this is jagbir singh and today we are going to model a water tank and later we will apply loads and we can we will analyze it for the hydrostatic force now let's go for a new project and go for add plate here and finish now as first we have to design the foundation so i have to orient my grid in xz plane now start make a base plate of 3 by 3 now i have to make that side so go for edit again and xy plane and hit your control button start from zero and release your control button and make a plate of 2 by 3 now again for this particular side go for yz plane and again control button and start from zero release your control button and make again two by three plate yes now hide hide your grid now you got let's say this plate and that plate now you uh, for uh, this side you can select this plate and go for transitional repeat and uh, repeat it in z direction as the gap the base plate is of 3 by 3 so give it 3 and hit ok so you got one plate here also so for this side you select this plate and go for transitional repeat again and go in x direction so select x and make 3 meters again now hit ok now you got your uh, model of your uh, a water tank but for better result you have to go for meshing so select all your vertical plates and right click go for generate plate mesh and create a plate mesh of 2 by 3 and use quadrilateral meshing type now you will see there are two rows and three columns for each side and for your base go for your view from minus y and select your plate right click and again go for generate plate mesh so go for quadrilateral and take three by three mesh okay now your messing is done now you have to give some specifications so let's go for general now you have to give plate thickness so go for thickness and uh, as uh, we always know that the foundation of the water tank is always strong so we will create two thicknesses one thickness for the walls and one thickness for the foundation so now go for plate thickness and give point uh, point 0.150 for the walls and now give one more point two for your let's say your uh, base at now select your second one and view it from minus y and select all your plates and assign to selected plates and assign now go for your first thickness for 1.7 uh, 1.50 and select your plates now rotate it again on this side and assign to selected plates and assign now you have to create some support so go for support and go create and use your fix support and now select your support and view it from minus y and select all your base plate nodes sorry it is selecting on all so go for 
again select only this one control this one control this one and that one so it's taking a time so you do one thing go for you have to do your selection for the base so simply select it assign for selected nodes and go assign so you will get your support like this now you have to go for load and definition now select load case detail and add now create two load cases one dead one give it a name as d and one life give it a name as l and add now for dead load select d and add your cell weight in minus y with factor one now for life load you add Mm, plate load and uh, the pressure on full plate and give it minus 200 so we assumed it by 200 so minus is just for the direction and in zy and simply add now add your cell weight and assign to view for your plate on the pressure on the because the water is creating pressure on the foundation so select this one and go for selecting your foundation plates just like this and now you have assign this one to selected plates now this is acting on your foundation so now the tricky part is like that if i am talking about geometry if this water tank is carrying water then it is also exerting pressure on the side of these walls side of these walls as well as the base so we have to uh, do something for the pressure which is exerted on these side plates so as you know uh, if uh, a wa if a pot or a water tank is carrying a water then the pressure is maximum on the bottom of the wall and minimum at the top so we have to distribute that pressure total pressure hydrostatic pressure of the water as per the location of these plates that means the top plates will be having less pressure but the bottom pressure uh, bottom plates will be having the maximum pressure so for that you go for load cases and details and go for live and go for add and this time go for plate load and this time you have to select hydrostatic now in hydrostatic we will be seeing the effect on the side wall so we have to tell for which plate you are now defining it as we have done plate mashing so we have to select the plates on which the pressure is specific now go for select plates and in that you select these three top plates like this and the number of these plates will be coming here 25 27 and 29 and go with done now you have to tell what is the interpolation axis let's say y and uh, direction of pressure now you have to now as the pressure is going outwards from the inside then the direction is x so select gx now you have to give w1 as let's say the total load was 200 the water load was 200 so as we have two lines like this so we will divide equally on the top it will be 100 and in the bottom it will be 200 because it is decreasing as we are going upwards so give it as here you have to give 100 and uh, 
uh, c uh, as we do not consider 0 so we will take 0 0.1 okay and simply go for at now you close it and you will see when you click on it you will be seeing if you see from this side you will be seeing it is increasing as we are going bottom of these plates so you can see it is coming as some triangle now you can again go for live and add now you again go for plate load and hydrostatic this time you go for select plates and orient your model like this now you select these plates control this one and that one it is coming 24 26 and 28 and go for done now you can go for y and zx now you have to give 200 here and as it it was finishing at 100 so it is let's give 100.1 and just add now if you see it by y and if you click on it you can see it is increasing at the bottom because at the base of the plate it will be the maximum so now now go for load case detail and add and go for auto load combination choose load combination type as uh, code as indian indian code and generate now so bring them all of them here and choose only top one we are just considering this one with a safety factor of 1.5 and simply add close now go for analysis and print and go add now run analysis now done now go for post processing mode consider combination load and just ok now you will see it is giving you all the information about your plates go for plate here and uh, uh, let's say before going for plate go like this go for plate and now in contour you go for stress type as maximum absolute now go for okay now you will see it is giving you the color coding for what is the maximum stress so maximum stress is 7.50 now you can go for result along line and let's say not this one now not this one go for contour maximum absolute is fine and okay now you can see the maximum value is 7.55 and it is also showing where it is so now you see let's go for modeling and let's increase the thickness of this base so that it can withstand maximum stresses so go for your geometry go general now for plate thickness go for edit now it was 0.2 let's try for 0.3 and go for change and close now again go for analyze Done. now go for post processing plates it is still the same so you can do one thing you can right click and uh, go for labels and go for stress and contour And you can 
switch in between cases yeah, okay now we are considering only live load so for live load maximum is point 5.03 and if you do not want to use live you want to see only dead one so now you can see dead one is very less 0 0.007 and it is showing where it is the location of this one so now this was uh, your uh, water tank design if you like this video you can simply hit the like button you can share it with your friends uh, subscribe this channel if you want to see more videos like this if you have any problem in any area in set pro you can uh, drop down uh, your query in the comment section so that i can create a video for you this is jagbir singh signing off for today thank you jay india jay bharat